Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and this is Video Insights. So virtually every TCP IP fixture at Chauvet Professional has a web server built into it. What the web server allows you to do is log in remotely from a laptop or a desktop computer into the fixture to be able to access almost all the information inside the fixture. You can also make changes inside the fixture from the web server if you need to, or in a pinch you can use it as a software uploader. I'm here with Sam Baldwin, he's our product manager from Europe. Uh, Sam's actually had opportunity to use the web server to get him out of a few jams. So Sam, can you tell us about those situations? Uh, yeah, well, one, one particular example was um, uh, at a show called BPM a few years ago. We were setting up a uh, Nexus 5x5 in the main arena. I think we had something like 48 panels of Nexus 5x5 uh, with a mix match of different versions of software. So the panels were responding differently to what we were sending via Klingnet. Uh, but because we were able to pull up all of the IP addresses, we just logged into each panel, updated the software version to bring them all up to the same amount, uh, same software, and, uh, and then we ran the show. But it saved us masses of time because if we hadn't have been able to remote upload the panels, we'd have had to physically take down every single panel, plug it into an uploader and, and put it back in again, which on a load in where you've only got one day is not really time that you can afford to take. Now, as far as, as a tech tool, um, this is also something that we could use at our office to be able to look at somebody else's fixtures away from us, right? Yeah, so with remote login software nowadays, we could be sat in one of our offices remote log into someone's computer in, say, Australia and run the software update, update via the uploader. So it kind of it extends our reach of being able to support our own product globally. Okay. So looking inside the software, if you look at the first page, when it first comes up, you can see the product name, manufacturer. Uh, you can see your firmware version, so you do know right away if you do need to do an upload or not. Uh, your device ID, which never changes. IP address, which you can change inside the fixture if you do want to. Temperature, so that lets you know about where the fixture is operating at. And how many hours are actually on that fixture. We're going into setup. I can choose my DMX channel assignments. Um, I can choose my protocol, whether I want it to be ArtNet, DMX, or SACN. Uh, my IP mode, whether it's going to be a static, uh, DHCP, or manual, so I can manually input a new IP address. Um, what universe is going to operate in. My dimmer modes, fan speeds, and backlight. Now, depending on which fixture you are logging into, the information on this screen will vary. If I go into manual test, I can choose to test a fixture just to see how it does operate. So if there is functionality, I want to make sure that it is working. I can go ahead and check that. So if I do want to see if the software is working or a particular part of the fixture is working, I can do that from here as opposed to having to run a console to the fixture. Uh, software upgrade happens right here. Uh, keep in mind that if you are uploading software from the web server, it can take some time for it to happen. Um, so please do be patient when you are uploading from, from this because depending on the size of the file, we'll tell you about how long it's going to go ahead and take to do that. Um, you can also change the password uh, under, under security. Uh, the default password for all fixtures is, is admin. So basically it comes up as user admin and then the password is also admin hit enter. Um, if you do want to change the uh, if you do want to change the password on it, you can do it from the screen as well. So Sam, as far as having a web server built into our fixtures, uh, do you think this has become a key point of the fixture itself? Definitely. Uh, we, we started putting these into our fixtures a while ago now, a few years back. Uh, and it's been so popular with customers, that ability to test your fixtures, to upgrade the software, and all of those different things that are available through the web server. There's a reason why we've started rolling it out over so much unit, uh, over so many units. It's just it's such a great tool to add into the fixture. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for coming out today. We do appreciate it. For video insights, I'm Mike Graham. Thanks for watching.